Hi, welcome to In The Workshop. I'm David. So we're going to just do a few bits and pieces. I'll just get the washing off the line. So these are just some of my little beach key rings that are in my store shop. They've all dried and they're ready for the next step. So now they can go inside to have the uh, fittings put on them. And then they can be uploaded onto the shop. This, uh, found this this morning when I was out food shopping. We were in Lidl again, and I found this. So it's a rasping disc, Parkside rasping disc. But I want to give this a go. So this is really thick, really thick, sturdy metal. But uh, we'll see how it good it is for shaping wood. So fitting that in a little angle grinder, and we'll give that a go. See, see what it's like. But four ninety nine. You know, I thought it was worth trying. And what I also want to try is, I just ordered these. These just came a couple of days ago. So they're spiral saw blades for my fret saw, scroll saw, under there. So I want to try them. I want to see how good they are. And I couldn't remember, because these don't have pins on the end, can't remember whether I've got these. I might have some of these somewhere. They might have came with the machine. But I bought some of these ends that hold pinless fret saw blades. So you just put them in there, tighten the Allen keys up, and then these will hook on either end of the uh, saw. Get that set up and try, try them. I've never tried one of them because you're supposed to be able to cut in all directions. Before I try them, I want to get on with shaping this wood. So this is some beach, and what it's from is an old woodwork bench, school woodwork bench. About seven years ago, when I was clearing out at the school, um, there was big, we were chucking away some rubbishy old bits of wood and stuff. You know, loads of it was no good, but I thought, so under this, there might be some decent wood, like it was from the uh, tops of the woodwork benches. It was just one part of that, and it had all saw cuts and nails and holes drilled in it and all sorts. And I thought underneath it, there might be some decent wood, so I kept hold of that. Cut it all up, uh, planed it down, and it's some decent little bits of uh, beach. For a start, try and do a few of these. So Tommy coasters. So this is just a rough bit of the, so I kept a load of uh, the bits of wood that are rough to uh, practice on. But I've been trying to do it, get the laser settings right. So now what I want to do with these, I need to sand these down because they've still got some uh, planar marks on them. Give them a sanding and I want to round the edges, uh, round the corners and then route around on the edges as well. So then I can uh, get a few of these on the laser cutter inside and burn some of these. We never got to have any of the cherries off the tree. The birds got them all before we could even try a single one. So look, they've just left the pips in the middle of the seed. And that's all of a sudden, you're just waiting to try and grab a few, and they get the lot. Never mind, it'd be nice if they could share them with us though. They're just all there, ripening, and then suddenly, gone.
I think I'll take the corners off on the uh, trusty Rexon bandsaw. Cut them off on there and then probably sand them over there on the sander before I route them. Um, if you haven't already had a look at my little online uh, online shop, the link's in the description, or there's a tab on the uh, on my channel for store, so you can uh, click on that and have a look if you want. But uh, yeah, any sale supports the channel, and it'll be uh, any money will go into materials that are used you know for some up and coming projects and thank you very much for of you that already purchased off the shop that's great all the support helps but of course you don't have to buy things off the shop because you're supporting me anyway just by watching the channel and even better if you could click the subscribe button that'd be brilliant And uh, for those of you that tried uh, buying stuff off my site in the USA, I've now enabled USA, so I ship to the USA, obviously the United Kingdom, to New Zealand, to Australia. Just got to change the cutter in here. We want the little rounding over cutter. I haven't seen Tommy yet today. Not in here. He was inside earlier. But uh, just lately he's been just taking it easy a lot. Eat, drink and be lazy. So it's taking notice of my sign. Do you sometimes drive yourself mad looking for stuff? See, anybody else would probably, once they've used the spanner, would keep it here with the router table. But I don't know what I've done with it. them coasters they're ready for going into the house to uh, into the little workshop at the back of the house to be laser cut laser engraved so now let's just see if I can fit up these uh, new scroll saw blades 
I'm going to move some of this junk from underneath it so there's enough room to clear when it flips over. Ah, that's it. Oh, while I'm flipping it, let's just clean off this. I don't get clean behind it very often. Rusty. Oh yeah, this hasn't been sprayed like a load of my other tools. One of my subscribers mentioned this stuff to put on tools, stop them from rusting. Because I was using WD-40, but this is this stays there better, stays on it better. I didn't know this was going to be a restoration job. Hopefully it still works. Did when it was uh, last flipped over. off Set that out. so the normal blades are the ones with the pins on with the pins on there that hook on to this bit there and down here uh, inside so yeah that is super fine like you can see but it's a spiral blade it's got teeth twisted round we've got them they were going to fit to it and they hook on to them so top one hooks over there like that and then you got and you got to hook the bottom one so you better off hooking the bottom one first so that's just hooking on that tab there and then when you do it up it opens that out and holds it so I just need to get this blade into these. So I need to find the Allen key that fits this. Right, let's try and hook the bottom on. Let's push that out first actually. Actually, make, let's make sure we're putting that the right way up. So we want the blade, oh no, that's upside down. Because I can't see, they're that small, I can't see these. But if I run my hand, my fingers, they're slipping that way. But if I try and go the other way, they're biting. So I want them biting ones aiming down. So that uh, it cuts on the downstroke to hold it against the table. I think I'm going to take this side off so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, you won't want to do this every time your blade breaks. Oh, I think I better vacuum this out. Has this got enough movement so I don't have to adjust it in the oh, so I'll have to undo these if I can't get this down far enough I'll have to undo these uh, Allen keys and just move it a bit inside there looks like I can though there we go let's move the whole blade further out that way because the other one hooked in there 
so it's moved it all across don't know how much I want to tighten them because like I say there's not a lot to this I think I'll just leave it there for now right let's see if uh, I've just wasted my time because if it doesn't work and switch on anyway that was a bit pointless let's give that a bit more tension let's see if it works for a start oh it's ejected what happened there so that come flying off and that's come off maybe that just slipped off there because like I said there's not a lot of this is really thin so wouldn't surprise me if that come out of there because there's not a lot holding it because because uh, the blades are thin there's not a lot of surface area holding it and you've got to try and get them in the middle of the grub screws as well but who knows it might do it again there right switch her on let's try again keep that down this time to try and catch the bit well that's a bit better it's nice and quiet right let's try a piece of wood in it in from that way that's okay and so I should be able to push it that way yeah back in from that way that way Should be able to go back towards me and pop. So that's great. So without without having to turn the wood, you can uh, cut out your shape. So that's pretty good. So yeah, that's what I want it to do. That's brilliant. Right, let's try this with the cordless grinder. What does it say it is? 125 millimeters. Parkside rasping disc. So we need that battery and some wood to try it on. Let's just try it on this bit of soft wood and then we'll try it on that stump on there. Hopefully should do this easy because this is just a bit of pine. As you can see that's making easy work of that this I think is it could be lime Let's have a look. yeah that's pine I think that's lime but this might be wet but we'll see how it tackles this let's have a try
that is probably overheating my the battery i think they have safety cutouts if they're getting a bit overloaded let's just try it on this pine it does fetch it off but obviously that's rock hard especially on the uh, end grain there let's try it on this Obviously not as good as the uh, proper like carving things, but then it doesn't say it's a carving uh, like blade. It's just a rasp, but I think that might come in handy. Right, I'm going to get inside and get engraving the uh, laser engraving them coasters. So that's it for in here, just doing some little bits. But anyway, thank you for popping in and uh, just taking a look at this video. If you liked it, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It'd be great to have you follow along. And if you haven't yet had a look in the uh, little shop in the channel store, if you just take a look in the description, there's a uh, link there or there's a tab button for store on the channel and uh, also you could just go to in the workshop dot shop but it would be great if you could just have a look and uh, all there is to say is thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time take care